Good evening, class. Welcome. Hello, Julio Cesar, Carlos Ernesto, Mateo. Hello, Mateo. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Okay, I am glad that you are here. I have a question for you, Matthew. Have you been working in the learning platform? Ha estado trabajando en la plataforma, Mateo. Para ser sincero, no. Es. Ok. Pero espero... ya me voy a poner al día. Sí, sí, espero que en estos días se pueda poner al día, ¿verdad? Porque ya, ya hoy es nuestra clase número, número 10, ¿sí? Ok, para que no se le acumule. Sí. Ok, thank you for sí. being here. Ok, ok, I appreciate. Ok. We're going to get started in three minutes, ok? En tres minutos iniciamos. Ok. Ok. Hello, Maria Isabel. Welcome. Yesterday we were missing you, Miss. Okay, ayer le estuvimos extrañando. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Pero ahora sí está acá 100%, ¿verdad? Okay, great. Yeah, excellent. That's amazing to have you here. And we are going to get started in about 20 seconds, okay? But today we're going to finish uh, unit number two, okay? So Elizabeth Johanna is here. Matthew, Julio Cesar, Carlos Ernesto, Rafael is joining right now, and you. So welcome class. It is glad to have you here back. It is great to have you here. And today we're going to finish our unit number two because today is our class number 10. And it is exactly the time to get started. So here we go. Let's begin. Welcome again. It is so glad to have you here. And let's expect that some other partners join because uh, if you have checked the WhatsApp, some of them have different kind of situations. Then some of them are going to be listeners and some others are not going to be able to get connected. But anyways, here we go. And you are really welcome to the class. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to share as every single day my PPT with you class. Today is March 21st, 2023. And here we go. Okay. We have uh, our agenda for today's class. It is, we're going to have uh, this agenda for our video conference number 10, as I was telling you. Greetings, feedback, objectives in the pre-task. We have a preparation task, but we're going to be working at pages 26, 27, and 28. And basically we're going to be working in a feedback. So the objectives are 
I need someone to help me reading the specific objective, please. Okay. Please. Me, teacher. Yes, please, Rafael. A specific objective, a students will be able to review and comprehend and apply vocabulary used during unit 10. Excellent, very well. And now here we have the class objective. Okay, help me please, reading. Okay, the class will continue, teacher. Yes. Okay, the, the class will be able to assist their comprehension and application of vocabulary used during the unit team. Okay, as I told you before, we're going to be focused on the feedback, on the review of what we have been working in unit number two. That's why the class objective is this. The class, as Rafael read, the class will be able to assess their comprehension, okay? And application of vocabulary used during the unit sim. Because it is, as I told you at the beginning, basically we're going to be reviewing and uh, making a feedback on unit number two. Then here we continue. Homeworks and evaluations. I continue telling you people that there are some of you who are owing me unit one and unit two. Remember that today is our class number 10 and you need to complete unit number two and the midterm test, okay? In order to avoid any misunderstanding or problem at the end of the course, okay? Then the requirements are here in Spanish. One volunteer to help me reading, please. Hello? Who is going to help me reading? Their requirements in Spanish. Me, teacher. Please. Wilbur. Eh, requerimientos, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente, entre paréntesis, luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Ya la voy a encender. Okay. Eh, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible y participación activa. Excellent. Thank you so much. So you read. And about the attendance, it is expected that you uh, stay in class 100%, 21, uh, 120 minutes in each class. That uh, makes the effective attendance in each session. Just as a reminder that the attendance is taken twice, approximately at 8.20 and at 9.40, about 9.40. So it is going to be valid or effective when you say presente, here I am, present, or here. And remember that the one-on-one -on -one session are available at the end of the class. So one of you is going to stay with me at the end in order to feedback any topic or to practice vocabulary or reading. And again, I am not authorized to give any permission I just take note of what you uh, report, yeah? And also the uh, administration takes note of what you say, okay? The, the reasons why you are absent. And here again, this is the expectation. Everybody with the cameras on, right? The bottom of silence, the microphone mute, so we can listen to what the others say. And the two chats are available, the one via Zoom and the one via WhatsApp. The breakout rooms will be available for you to work in. And also in the breakout rooms, the Ask for Help forum will be available for you in case that you need it. And as every day, respect above all, okay? First of all, we need to practice respect. And let's continue. Okay, here is what I was telling you, okay? Today is... March 21st. So today is your day, your expected day to have completed your homeworks of unit two and your midterm test. I am so happy because almost all of you have gone through 
the 100% of section one, section two, and the midterm test. And I have to clap to some others who have gone over section three and section four. And there are a couple of you who are done with uh, the final test too. So claps, claps, claps for you. Thank you so very much for being very active in the learning platform, okay? And now let's continue. This is the feedback, okay, for yesterday's class. If you remember class in the speaking time, you were discussing in the breakout rooms about what's a small talk? Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist and why? If you said yes, I do or no, I don't. I consider myself a good conversationalist or no, I don't consider myself a good conversationalist. You needed to give a reason why, okay? You said that. And also here I share with you some of the definitions of a small talk, yeah? And here uh, you had a listening practice, if you remember, yeah? You were listening to an audio about the small talk. And I asked you some questions and these are some of the words that were, um, that were in the conversation in the small talk. For example, small talk, awkward, etiquette, breaking the ice, private, youth, sleep my mind and some others, yeah? Do you remember that? In here class, we have, uh, uh, let me see where is it. Okay, in the manual, I'm going to go over the feedback over here, class. Because if you remember, these are the questions that you were asking and answering in the breakout rooms. But here in exercise number two, you were choosing three topics for a small talk and three topics that you consider inappropriate, you as a group. And I requested from you to participate actively, all the teams, all the people in the teams. Why? Because remember, one part of the small talk is socializing, yes? And you need to participate because if you are in a group and you don't speak, only the others, so you are not socializing, yeah? So you have to practice in that way. Actually, what you do in the breakout rooms, they are small talks, yeah? And here you wrote a, a three other topics for small talks. We had a variety of topics that you share with the class and you were practicing this conversation and you also created your own small talk, yeah? So I need two participants in order to practice this uh, small talk, okay? Two participants, only two participants. Who are those two participants? I know, don't let me down, don't make me cry. You have to speak, okay? You are, in two weeks, you are going to be in level number four, module four. So you need to speak, people. Okay, <laughs> Julio Cesar, you are speaker A. And who is going to be speaker B? Okay, another participant? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Rafa. Very well. Okay. I am Let's shy, go. teacher. Oh, I am shy. Oh my gosh. Why? Come on. Okay, <laughs> let's begin. One, two, three. Julio Cesar, you begin. Okay. Uh, excuse me. What is in the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending too? Yes, I am. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, <laughs> that's great. And now two more participants, the shy people. Me class. Me okay, <laughs> Carlos and uh, okay. Uh, okay, Carlos is A and Evelyn is letter B. Okay, let's begin. One, two, three, begin. Okay, excuse me. What is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending too? Yes, I am. Good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. So this is uh, the model of the conversation that you took 
in order to create your own conversation, your small talk, yeah? Do you remember that? Because here, uh, prepare a short conversation like the one in the model. Use different topics to initiate a small talk, and this is what you did. And later, number six, take turns practicing your small talk skills with at least three partners. You practice in the uh, breakout rooms and also at the end in the main session room. So we finished. And this is uh, what you were listening to, if you remember. Okay. Now for about the BBC, okay. And it was British English. That is why the audio was kind of uh, rare to some of you because of the pronunciation, okay. So said that, now we're going to continue. Welcome to the others who I didn't greet because I was uh, in the feedback with the partners. So now we're going to work at pages 26, 27, and 28. First of all, we're going to read the article about Miss State's networking experience. You're going to discuss if the questions below are true or false and correct the false sentences. In other words, we're going to read the article, you analyze the sentences, and you determine in this if the sentences are true or false. If the sentence is false, you have to write the correct sentence, okay? Is that clear? So it's clear. clear. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. very well. Now I'm going to show you. Okay, over here, we have socializing, yeah? That is why yesterday I insisted, everybody needs to participate, not only one, no, everybody, because that is socialization. Read the article about Miss State's networking experience. Discuss if the questions below are true or false. Correct the false sentences. And then here we have one, two, three paragraphs, and then you have over here two more paragraphs. Yes, so let's go over, here we go. Last week, I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contact. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I would have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During lunch, Allison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised because she trusted me, that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she works in, and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from a small talk to smart talk. Here's my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business problem, problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice, you expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. That is her experience. Now we have in the blue box, when networking with people at meetings, conferences, associations, meetings, or conventions, learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard. What do you do for a living? For a more creative question to enrich the human exchange, like uh, what inspires you in your job? 
what are your daily challenges? Okay. So right now here we have a one, two, three, one, two, three paragraphs. And I need one volunteer to help me reading the first paragraph. Okay. One volunteer to read the first paragraph, please. For the class. Okay. Please begin. Okay. Then you're going to be number two. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Yeah, Rafael. And later, Carlos. First is Wilbur. Ah, okay. Wilbur, sorry. Then Wilbur, Rafael, and Carlos. Carlos, yeah? Carlos, him and me. Okay, Carlos, number three, two, Carlos. and me, number three. Number three. Okay, sir. Okay, let's no talk. No problem. Okay. Last week, I had lunch with Alison, a new mem member of my ne network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I would have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meetings meeting was Allison. Our, our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. Activate your microphone, teacher. Not because you're reading and you know who is number two. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let I continue. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Carlos. And at the end, Rafa. Okay. Okay, uh, during lunch, Alison mentioned that she was she by nature. In the past, she said she worried a, a lot before going to large networking events. I feel surprised because she trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about her, uh, the industry she works in, and about her expectation for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to a smart talk. Here is my advice to you. When you attend business event, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people I'm oh, sorry, I, 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 maybe uh, this opportunity to Rafael. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. I, I Don't feel worry, a, a, emotion. <laughs> yes. Very continue, excited. Dear. Okay, continue. <laughs> yeah, Rafael. very excited. So sorry. Here is my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business problems and solution. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You spend your contacts, improve your networking skills and your build many full connection with people in the industry. Excellent. Only one thing. Okay, here we go. We have uh, shy, shy, uh, nature. Uh, there is one more. I passed. I passed from small talk to smart talk. There is one more. Let me see. Maybe I can help you with that. Seminars when we move to each other. Goals with that. New contacts. Fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. And then here's my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss. Discuss. This you is like an A. Discuss. Okay. Business. Here, business. That you is like an I, business, not, okay, business, remember that.
forget about you and you say business. Teacher. Yes. Uh, what does rewarding mean? Re rewarding. Um, satisfactorio. Beneficioso. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, try to get to know at least three new people by sharing one on one, okay? Face to face, in other words, networking coffee to share, but you know, uh, in person, not online. Lunch or dinner, there are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build here, build, forget about the you, build, okay? Meaningful connections with people in the industry. Now we have here two more paragraphs. I need two more participants in order to help me reading paragraph one in the blue box and paragraph two, okay? Those volunteers are? Okay, Evelyn, you go for uh, the first one. And I need sure. another participant, yes, sir? Uh, why your uh, uh, area highlight the work? Mm? Because to some people, uh, it is uh, they are troublesome words in order to be pronounced. Yeah, some people ah. say she, and it is okay. shy. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thanks. Yeah, to make emphasis in the pronunciation. Okay, okay, thanks. So we have Evelyn is going to help us with the first paragraph in the blue box, and who is going to be the second participant? Hello. Okay. Okay, Maria Isabel. Uh, Evelyn, you begin. Okay. When networking with people at meetings, conference, associates, association meetings, or conventions, learn to ask interesting information questions to get that conversation going. Okay, Isabel. Since the standard word, standard, what do you do for a living for a more creative question to enrich the human exchange? Like what spirit do you in your job? What are your daily changes? Standard. Thank you so much, girls. You did a pretty good job. And here we have meetings, conferences, conferences, because if you say conference is singular, but here is plural, more than one, conferences, association, association, conventions, okay? Interesting information. Remember that here we have the stress in the first syllable, in, interesting creative, enrich, exchange, inspire, and challenges. Here we have a very um, important question, okay? Instead of asking, what do you do for a living? They suggest us to be more creative. And then we are going to ask something like this. Um, what inspires you in your job? So this is the question for everyone. If I ask uh, Maria Isabel, what inspires you in your job? <laughs> Think about the answer, people, okay? What inspires you in your job? Your answer is, okay? The question is for everybody. If someone asks you, what inspires you in your job? What would you answer? my salary, payday. Mm. Uh, most of the students <laughs> usually say that, yeah? Okay. The my it's family. My family. Uh -huh. Yes, it's my you? family. For me, it could be that uh, the environment of the, the, the... At work. At work, yes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the benefits that the company uh, 
eh, me da, como give, digo, me, give me, give the me, company yes. gives, gives me in that case, gives me, yes, gives okay. me, okay, okay, yes. the benefits that you get, they are rewarding, okay, and the 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 last one is the salary, okay, thank you for your okay. opinion. Now, class, you know what to do and how to do it. You are going to take turns in order to be reading. They actually they are not three paragraphs. We have three in the first article, but we have two more, okay, with the advices in order to have a better, you know, a better performance when you are in a small talks. But before we go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to call your name to so take your first attendance. Andrea Lisbeth. Are you here, Andrea Lisbeth? No, she's absent. Okay, Carlos. Present. Here. Present, teacher. Ah, Andrea Lisbeth is here. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Uh, Elizabeth Johanna. Okay, she's a listener today, Elizabeth Johanna. Evelyn, here. Very active. Present. Okay, great. Flor, Flor Morena. She's a listener, she's okay. Thank you, Miss. Freddy Celiseo. Freddy is absent. Okay, great. Hazel. Hazel is absent. Uh, Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, Catherine. Present. Listener. Maria Isabel, here. Present. Letty, she said that she was going to be absent because she is in a funeral. Marvin. Marvin Osvaldo. Thank you, Marvin. Matthew, Mateo. Present teacher. Okay, great. Miguel Angel. On the top. Miguel Angel. Are you here or are you there? Yes, it's here. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Natalia, great. Natalia is absent, correct? Okay. Rafael. Here, teacher. Great. Rudy. Present, teacher. Thank you. Virginia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy is absent and Wilbur is here. Okay, remember you are going to work like this, yeah? What your partners did. You take turns reading, okay? Paragraph one, then the second round, you're going to read paragraph two and this, the third round you read uh, paragraph three. In the fourth round you read paragraph four and in the fifth round you're going to read paragraph five so i need all the people reading the five paragraphs but not all together at once no you take turns for example as your classmates did uh, let's imagine virginia virginia she reads uh, paragraph one uh floor reads paragraph two evelyn paragraph three and the Rafael paragraph four and Wilbur paragraph five. That is the first time. The second time you switch roles and then you continue. The idea is that you practice reading, okay? And learn vocabulary. When you finish the reading of all the article and also the advice here, okay, that they give you the pieces of advice, then you analyze sentence by sentence and you determine if this sentences are true or false. If one sentence is false, you have to write it again in the correct way. Is that okay? In class, this is at page 26, okay? Yeah? Questions okay, about teacher. the activity? Do you have any question? No questions. No question. Okay, very question. well. Here we go. Okay, go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. Please join your groups. Okay. 
Mateo, I need you in group number one. Matthew, Flor. Flor, go to group number two. Flor, Flor Rodriguez, go to group number two. Flor. I'm reading. Ya empieza. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, class. Here you are, Mervin, Elizabeth, Johan. Ah, but she's a listener. I don't know if the listeners are going to have the chance to participate reading or no, because in that case, you are only three. Um, Mateo, Marvin, and the other partner went away. She lost the connectivity. Okay, but you may begin reading, both of you. Yeah. Last weekend, I had lunch with Alison, a new member of my new work contact. We sat each other at three seminars over the past years, but we really did not know each other. Correct. Correct. Uh, okay. Okay. Con, 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 el, con, el, con el partido de fondo. Sí. Ah, ok. Ok. Don't worry. Last week I had lunch with Alison, a new member of my network contacts. We said each other at three seminars over the past year. But we really did not know each, um, each other, other, other. Each other. Each other. Each other. Very well. To large uh, networking events. I feel uh, surprised because she trusts me that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she worked in, and about he, her experience, experience for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from a small talk to a small talk. Isabel, your turn. No se escucha, sí se escucha. Now, se escucha. yes. Yes, miss. Fair okay. is my advice to you when you attend business events. It may be not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. For to get to know uh, less to new people by and one on one. And not working coffee or lunch or dinner. There are several benefits of the practice your experiment, your contact, improve, improve your networking skill, and you build magnificent connection with people in the industry. Okay. Uh, when networking with people at meetings, conference, association, meetings of conventions, learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard, what do you do for a living? For a more creative question to enrich the human exchange, like why what is inspired you in your job? What are you daily challenge? Mm -hmm. 
Ok. Ahora si quieren cambiamos. Ok. Mm, okay ver, me voy a agarrar el número de yo. Okay. O cualquiera, el último que me dé. Isabel, si gusta comienza usted eh, y yo agarro el último. Okay, okay. Ah, no, sería entonces, perdón, tendría que, me voy a agarrar los últimos dos yo y que agarre el último Rafael para que no nos repitamos. El primero voy yo, después ¿Sí? Isabel ya fue segunda, ¿no? ¿verdad? No, no eh, sería eh, primero Isabel, luego eh, Rudy, luego tú y luego yo. Okay. And what about Rudy? No, es eh, not available. No yes. está disponible Rudy. Yes, ah. yes. Rudy. Rudy. Yes, yes, yes. Andrea, okay. Andrea is only, only listening. listening. Ah, ok, ok. Continue, please. Sería. Vamos a contestar si es verdadero o falso. Ya vieron todos todo el artículo. Yes. Yes. Y el, el, el advice también. También los consejos. Todo, todo lo leyeron ya. Todo. Todos leyeron todo el artículo y en la parte, esos dos otros dos párrafos, sí. Yes. Ok. ¿Sí? Ok, congrats, continuo. Ok. Alison y Mr. Sao H. Over for the first time last week. Try to get to know the new people by sharing a one on one networking coffee lunch or dinner there are several benefits of this practice you expand your contacts improve your networking skill and you build meaningful connection with people in the industry evelyn continue when networking with people at meetings conference associates Uh, meetings or conventions learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Continue. Change the standard. What do you do for a living? For a more quiet question to enrich the human exchange. Live what inspires you in your job. What are your daily challenges? Uh, comienzo. Last week, I had lunch with Alison, a new member of my network, network contacts. We saw each other at a seminar over the past year. But we really did not, did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I would have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least, least five new contacts this year. My fifth, fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. Carlos. Okay. During lunch, Alison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried a, a lot before going to large networking event. I felt surprised because she trusted me that feeling. 
I got to know more about her. The industry she works in and about her expectation for the future. I gained more that a new content. I pa pass passes, no, passes, passes from a small talk to a small talk. Julio? Here is my advice to you when you attend business events. Do not put a go and discuss business problem and solution. Try to get to know at layer three new people be showing on showing our own and on the working coffee lounge or dinner. There are several benef benefits of this practice. You expand your contact, improve your networking skill, and you build many meaningful connection with people in the industry. Creo que sería Evelyn, porque Evelyn acaba de decir esta última parte. Ahí creo que me salté a Evelyn. Está bien, no hay problema, yo lo digo otra vez. <risa> o, o que okay. lo ¿Ah? o, o que sí bueno bueno hagamos sí, lo voy a decir. Ajá, continuo. Okay. when networking with people at meetings <coughs> conferences a social es así no me acuerdo cómo se dice association association meetings, meetings or conventions learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard. What do you do for a living? For a more quiet question to enrich the human exchange. Like what experience you in your job? What are your daily challenges? Challenge. Continue con el primero. Okay, lo puede bajar un poquito, por favor. Gracias. Last week, I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contacts. We said, age other at three seminars over the past year but we really did not know each other very well i set a goal last year i will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year my fifth Contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so re rewarding that I want to share the experience. Julio. Okay, and um, during lunch, Allison mentioned that she was she be natural in the past. She said she worried a lot before going to launch network, networking events. I feel surprised because she trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about the, the industry she worked in and about her expectation for the future. I got it more that a new contact. I pass from a small tag to a smart tag. Carlos. Here is my advice to you. When you attend attend business event, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least two new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch or dinner. 
there are several benefits of this practice. You expand and improve your networking skill and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. When networking with people at meetings, conference, association, meetings, or, converse, or, or convention, learn to ask in, interesting information, questions to, to get the conversation going. Change the standard, what do you do for a living? For a more creative question to enrich the human exchange, like what experience you in, you in your job? What are your daily challenge? Okay. Ahí okay. creo que cerramos ya todos, todos los cinco párrafos. Sí, ya los cerramos. En mm -hmm. this moment, I try to the answer in the the first uh, question. Really? Or the first uh, true or false statement. Okay. Ajá, true or false. Analyze ah. the analyze the paragraph with true or false. Alison and Miss Tate saw each other for the first time last week. Mm. Last week, I had lunch true. with Alice. True, I okay. true. In the, the, the first sentence, the first paragraph is the answer. Is that uh, pero ¿a dónde menciona a Miss Tate? Eh, arriba eh, en el en el en el enunciado. No uh -huh. en el párrafo, sino que está como implícito. Eh, arriba lo menciona. Read the article about Miss Tate Network and Experience. Because Let it is supposed that Miss Tate is uh, telling her story, yeah, her experience. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Miss sí. Tate is the narrator. Ah, okay. Ella okay. está contando su experiencia. Okay. Ella, ella dice que la última semana tuvo un almuerzo con Alice, algo así, ¿no? Uh -huh. Alison y Miss Tate saw es se, se vieron, ¿no? uh -huh. vieron cada otro por por una por, por primera vez en la última semana. Eh, que es lo que así comienza el párrafo. Last week tuve un almuerzo con Alison. Pero ahí dice que nos vimos en tres seminarios durante el año pasado. Dice. Pero realmente no nos conocíamos muy bien. Entonces, esto es falso, ¿no? Alice y Miss Tate se vieron por primera vez la última semana. Es falso. ¿Me corrigen? Ah, sí, porque ya, ya, ya se... Ellos hablan de... Cada, cada otro por... Nos vimos en, en tres, tres seminarios, seminarios durante el año pasado. Y... Ajá. Algo así, ¿verdad? Sí. We saw we really did not. Uh -huh. It's false. <clears throat> With that feeling, I go to know more about her, the industry she works in, and about her experience. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa teacher? Expectation. Expectations. Expectation for her future. For, Again, her, for her future. For her future. Again, I'm getting more that a new mm -hmm. contact. I pass from small talk to smart talk. Virginia. There is a me this to you when you attend business events. Do not push good and discuss business. 
this is problem and solution. Try, um, try to hit to not unless three no three no people and being sharing one on one networking profit look or dinner there are seven venues on on this practice and the practice and you expand your bones and your expands your contacts in proper your networking she and you build meaningful connection with people with people in the industry. When working with people at meeting, conference, associate meeting, or converse, conversation, learn to ask interesting information, question to get the conversation going. Going. Es el, el segundo, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah. Shame the standard. What do you do for living? Uh, for a more creative question to enrich the human science, like what inspires you in your job? What are your daily chains? Okay. Okay. What do you say? Here we have advice, benefits, build, challenges, plural challenges, challenges conferences, challenges. association, association. Meetings or conventions, conventions. Learn to ask interesting, interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard. What do you do for a living for a more creative question to enrich the human exchange like what inspires you in your job? What are your daily challenges? Okay, challenge. everyday challenges at work. And challenge. here, during lunch, Alison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised because she trusted me, that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she works in and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to smart talk. Here's my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry, okay? 
So pay close attention to the pronunciation, okay? But you say it word by word. One good tip is when you have the material printed, you write the figurative pronunciation, okay? That is a good tip. So okay. I perceive that first you answer the, the, the sentences. Yes, you decided if they were true or false and you corrected them. Is that okay? Yes? Is that what you did? Yes? Okay. Okay. Ya hicieron yes. esa parte, ¿verdad? De yes. determinar yes. que las oraciones son true or false. Okay. Now let's return to the main session room. Yeah? And then we are going to compare your answers with the answers of the other partners. Let's return. Teacher, the picture. Which picture? Ah, yes, <laughs> for the, the attendance. <laughs> yeah, of, when, of the everybody, when everybody get that. When everybody okay. get back and oh, I was which picture. <laughs> okay, okay, hold it. Let me see. Uh, okay, everybody's back. Ah, you want me to take the picture? Okay. Here we go. If it is possible, please activate your cameras. And then we're going to take that picture for tonight. Virginia, okay. But we don't see your face, Virginia. Okay, that's correct. Mateo, Flor Morena, where are you? Okay, here we go, class. To the count of three, okay. One, a smile, Rafa. Rafa, okay, that's great because mm, like that. Mm. Okay, to the count of three, here we go. One, two, ah, remember, what are you going to say? Cheese, whiskey, pupusas, or pupusas. you decide, okay? One, two, three. Sandia. Sandia, ah, that is a good one. Guacal. So, Guacal, <laughs> we skill. We skill, yeah. Yeah, we skill. Okay, there you are. There you have your picture. Okay, class, here, since it is a long reading, we, we need to practice a lot. Yeah, and there's vocabulary. A good tip is to write the figurative pronunciation when you have the printed material. So you recall, okay, what is the pronunciation? Last week, I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Alison. Our meeting was so rewarding uh, that I want to share the experience. 
during lunch, Alyssa mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised because she trusted me that feeling. I got to know or I got to know more about her, the industry she works in and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to smart talk. Here is my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business, problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least, al menos at least, three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build, build meaningful connections with people in the industry. When networking is with people at meetings, conferences, associations, meetings, or conventions, learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard. What do you do for a living? For a more creative question to enrich the human exchange. Like what inspires you in your job? What are your daily challenges okay, at work? And then here we go. In number one, what do you think, class? Alison and Miss State saw each other for the first time last week. Is it true or false? False. False. Okay. Uh, what about number two? Mrs. State uh, set a networking goal for this year. True or false? True. False. It is true. True. Because she said, okay, last uh, week, blah, 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 with Alison, a new member of the network, of my network contacts. We mm -hmm. saw each other at three mm -hmm. seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. Ella se impuso o se propuso una meta el año pasado. I would have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. Yeah, so the sentence is, Alice, uh, Mrs. State set a networking goal for this year. Yeah. In other words, it is the New Year's resolution. Yeah, los propósitos de año nuevo. In it, yeah, Miss State set a networking goal, pero en relación a su trabajo. Number three, Alison confessed she hated networking events. Is it true or false? False. Mm, during lunch, Alison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried before going to large networking events. I felt surprised. So she was worried, but she never said, I hate them. No, okay, so it is false. What about number four? The state and Allison passed from a small talk to a smart talk during lunch. True or false? True. True. Okay, it was true. Because the conversation was rewarding. Fue gratificante, ¿verdad? La conversación. Miss State mentioned three benefits of one-on-one -on -one networking meetings. True or false? True. True. Okay, True. there are several benefits of this practice. Number one, you expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. So your answer is absolutely correct. It is true, but we have uh, two that are false. So, which is the, tell me the correct sentence here. Alison and Miss State saw each other for the first time last year. It is false. So, tell me, Alison. And Miss State. 
and mistake. So each the last year for the first time. So each other uh, for the first time last year, right? Last year. Uh -huh. Excellent. Because they were together in three meetings last year. Now, next one that is false. Number three, Alison confessed she hated networking events. What did she confess? That she was shy by nature. Okay. Confess she was shy by nature. Nature. Okay, very well. So that's it. Congratulations on your activity, okay? And now remember to continue practicing, yes? And now class, we move to the next activity, which is vocabulary and practice, socializing. You are going to find the 10 words from the box below in the word search. This is a word search, talking about the company, okay? So your words are industry, headquarters, staff, small talk, networking, manufacturer, branch, personal, guest, and expertise. Let's see what we find first. And then you're going to do it. For example, oh, here, let me see. Uh, we have, uh, let's go over this one, okay? Mm hmm Okay, here, 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 and here. Yes, I help you finding number one, personnel, because it is over here. Where is it? Okay, it is over here, so we forget about this one. Now you continue with the others. When you finish finding these uh, words in the uh, word search, then you choose five of these words from the word search and write a sentence for each. Cuando ustedes hayan terminado de completar este word search, sopa de letras en español, ¿verdad? Entonces ustedes seleccionan cinco de estas palabras y van a construir una oración por cada una de esas palabras. Yes? Is that okay? Okay. 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 And that is at page 27. So I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Remember the structure for the sentences, subject, verb, and complement, yeah? And at the end, full stop. Punto final, cuando termina la oración, or a question mark. Okay, here we go. I'm going to uh, transfer you to the breakout rooms, okay? Go to your groups. Uh, Julio Cesar, your partners were? Sus compañeros eran Julio? Uh, Carlos. Okay, team number two. Uh, Andrea, your partners were? Andrea, sus compañeros? Okay. Andrea. Yeah, but you need to participate. You need to join the groups in order to listen, okay? So go to group number three, Miss Andrea. Rudy. Um, yeah, it is group number three. Go to your groups, please. Join your groups. And uh, Mateo, your partners. Mateo, su compañero, quienes eran? Hello, Mateo. Melquisedec, Mateo. Estaba en el equipo de Carlos o en el equipo de Marvin? Ah, en el equipo de Marvin. Okay. Mateo se le está esperando en el salón número uno. E igual a Flor en el equipo número dos, ¿ok?
Okay, class, begin with the activity. Hola. Mm -hmm. Abajo está branch. Branch. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. ah, A la parte de la toste. Ajá. Aquí, branch. ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, muy bien. Y dos letras así ya está. Y abajo ahí tenemos staff. The staff. Abajo, the letter... abajo, abajo. En la última línea. Ahí, no. De izquierda a derecha. De derecha a izquierda, perdón. Ahí, ahí. Ah, staff. Ah, ok. okay. Así, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Industry okay. está... Aquí, ¿verdad? Ahí, ajá. Ok. Muy bien. A la par Ahora. están... La, ahí a la par están las otras dos. De, de arriba hacia abajo y de abajo hacia arriba. Small call. Aquí, ¿verdad? Sí. Y la otra... Toda la línea. De abajo hacia arriba. Ah, ok. Headquarters. Headquarters. Hacia arriba, ¿verdad? Headquarters. Yes. Ok. Muy talk. bien. Small talk ya estuvo, ¿verdad? Uh, small talk. A small sí. talk. Yes. And headquarters. Ah, ya terminamos. Son 10, ¿verdad? Son 10. Yes. Sí. Y tenemos... Vaya, ahora elijamos las... Sí, dos, ah, cuatro, cinco. Uh -huh. Sí, diez allá. Diez allá. Tres, cuatro, cinco, ocho y dos, diez. Ok. Veamos cuál uh, elegimos so para now, formar la oración. Uh, ok. Personal, yes. Ajá, esa sí está. Small está. Talk nos falta, get a industry. Yes. Industry. Ah, aquí está Small Talk. Small Talk está. Deja entrar en Industry. Está en la columna que está junto a Edwards. Uh -huh. Deja esa y en la siguiente está. Va, entonces esta columna que usted está dejando de por medio, la penúltima, ahí está Small Talk. ¿Cuál? Small Talk. Small talk. small talk. Primero está ya la, la última. Ya Ajá. Ya ok. Solo nos falta guest. ¿Cuál nos falta? Guest. Guest. Okay. Okay, guest. Ajá, guest. Ah, ahí está. Es en la. Está en la, abajo de personal. De personal. Ajá. Sí. Antes no puedo jugar esto. Antes les compraron en todas las joyas, como en el tiempo me quedo. Ya no me lo... es mal. Está de donde está la línea, donde está la staff, la segunda. R, uh -huh. RN, experience, expertise. Experience. Termina. E. Ya se ubicaron. Expertise. En la, Expertise. Uno, en la segunda. Ajá, de a, en la parte sub inferior hacia arriba. Experience. Ah, uh, uh, uh. teacher, la estructura que nos dijo era subject. Las... Subject, verb, complement. 
Subject, subject verb, verb in complement. Es una oración simple, ¿verdad? Sin question mark al final, ¿verdad? Si no es pregunta. Pero no. si es pregunta, sí. Oh. What branch does she manage? Eh. What, what branch does she manage? Ahí sería pregunta. Ajá, sería pregunta. I want. I have work. I have work. Miguel, Miguel Ángel, de este es your group. Miguel Ángel, de este es grupo. No lo escuchábamos. Es que perdió yes. la conexión. Sí, 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 pero este es el grupo de. Ah, ok, great. Sí. Él es el quinto <risa> Power Ranger. Sí, Él está aquí, sí. sí. Uh -huh. <risa> ¿Cuánto le dan para formar a, 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 a alguien? Al dinosaurio. Ah, no, hombre, usted cállate. Ah, Miguel, no se conectivete again. Oh, Jesus. He's trying to get back. Ok. Vamos okay. a ver. Entonces, dijimos, subject, verb, plus complement, ¿verdad? Plus, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. That is in a, that is in a, in a, in a simple sentence, affirmative or negative, right? Mm -hmm. Pero Let's si hay pregunta, recuerden la estructura va el verbo auxiliar al principio, el sujeto o pronombre personal, el verbo, el complemento y question mark at the end, ¿ok? Okay. El verbo auxiliar, el sujeto. Y el complemento. No va otro verbo, teacher. Eh, repítame la estructura, si es pregunta. Ajá, si es pregunta, Ajá. va. Verbo auxiliar. Sí. Subject, Ajá. Eh, el verbo. Verb, y, y el complemento. Con... Ok. Ah, pues. En question mark. En question mark. Si es, yes, no question, porque si es information question, tiene que ir WH question work. Tiene que ir la pregunta, ¿verdad? Y luego el subject. I mean, not subject, but the, past, the, the auxiliary verb in past or do or does. Sí, uh -huh. depende si la van a hacer en presente o en pasado también. Ajá. You make the decision. <risa> ok. Ok. okay. okay. Puse una y no sé si está bien. Corrían. Do you have a new personal? No. Do you have new personal in your company? Solo le eliminamos la palabra A. Ok. La letra A. Ok. Ok, but that's good. Entonces usamos la segunda, la que, la que envió usted. Eh, las, dos está, las dos están bien. No. Pienso. No. I think so. No. Ok. Why? He works at a branch. He works at a branch. At. La, mm -hmm. una at, sucursal. at. A branch. En una sucursal. Después de at, la palabra a. La letra a. Eight. Ah, uh, he works a uh -huh. a branch. Yes. And, and, and the... I don't see the full stop. No veo el punto final. Ah, okay. Sorry. 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 And sorry. I am like, yeah. In the in the third <laughs> sentence. Curacao, Curacao is a company, right? So you yes. need a capital letter. Curacao has a fifth. A okay, 52 branches. You need an E, okay? And you don't say the, uh, the Curacao because the name of the company is Curacao. The company, the company. Curacao company has 52 branches. Us. Yeah, As that's teacher. correct. Very well. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, uh, try to the to do uh, with the staff. Completar. Okay. Choose five words from the word share and write a sentence for each. Las oraciones hoy.
Ok, vamos a crear vocabulario. Y una oración de cada palabra, dijo. Yeah, that is the instruction. Ok, here you have the instruction in the manual. Exercise number two, choose five words. Selecciona cinco de estas palabras. From the word search, de la sopa de letras. And write a sentence for each. Y escribes una oración por cada una de esas cinco palabras. In other words, five sentences. Five words, ok. 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 Okay, three minutes to finish the sentences, group. Entonces sería, ¿cuál era la estructura? Eh, como ahí es question, cambia. Ajá, ok. De acuerdo al ejemplo que nos puso. Uh -huh. eh, where does, where her query does. No. <ríe> where does her query, the Curacao Company. No, where are the Curacao Company headquarters? Where are oh. the Curacao Company headquarters? Ah, oh, ok. Ahorita, escucha. Veamos. Where, Where are the part? Curacao Company headquarters? Ah, sí. Literal, prácticamente. La cambiaste. Tengo problema. Espérame, tengo problema. Ten aquí está. Where are the Coracao Company Headquarters? Usted la hizo, Eva. Estaría así como la mandé. Excelente, lo veo. Así verá, where are the cura, cura cowers, cara cowers, cura, cura cowers. Cow. Era el corrector, teacher. Así sería, verá, yeah. where are the cura cow company headquarters. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Question eh, mark, the finish. Question mark, ok. Está bien, ma. Vaya, ahora eh, ya tenemos dos con cinco de algo de la industria. Networking, ¿te parece? Uh, por ejemplo, Julio César, uh, how networking ability. Fíjate que aquí estamos haciendo casi lo mismo de 
Porque si la traduces así, do you need a small talk with your boss? Se traduce no, como no. necesitas pequeña conversación con tu jefe. En cambio, si bueno. lo haces, eh, quitas el do y solo le pones you need, necesitas hablar con tu jefa. Eso ya need, así. <risa> yes. Es lo que estábamos hablando hace poco. Ah. Si le quitamos el do es como afirmación, o sea, que le estás diciendo que lo necesitas. Pero si le pones el do es como que le estás preguntando que si necesita hacerlo. Ajá, es como pregunta. Ajá. Porque lleva el... el... No, el auxiliar no, no como verbo sino que como auxiliar you no you es subject es subject no por eso your boss needs to talk to you ah, okay. sería... no, no. ya entendí entonces sería así your boss tu jefe necesita hablar contigo no Ajá. ¿Qué sería your boss eh, need a small talk with you? Pero. O ser, por eso les decía, o sería you need, por si hacemos una pregunta, you need a small talk with your boss. Necesitas hablar con tu jefe. You need. Como que alguien le está diciendo a él. O sea, Ajá. Una... Sí. Ajá. Creo que el auxiliar siempre lo tiene que llevar, Rafael, el do you need. Uh -huh. If it is a question, you need an auxiliary. Si es pregunta, yes. necesitan un auxiliar. Uh -huh. Si le eliminan el auxiliar, tienen que eliminarle el question mark. Porque sería una statement, oración simple. Una aseveración. You need to talk with your, your boss, María Isabel. Necesitas hablar con tu jefe, ya no es pregunta. But if I say, hey, do you need to talk uh, with your, okay, a boss or to your boss? Do you need to talk to your boss? Okay. Okay. That is a question, okay? Acabo de pensar en... Eh, Rejex eh, rechazó. ¿Cómo pronunciaría ese re, Rejex? How do you say rechazo? Reject. 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 A new technology. Uh, new technology. The industry reached a new technology. Estaría bien eso, teacher. Show me your sentences. May I see your sentences? Pueden mostrarme sus oraciones. Okay. One moment. En el chat. ¿Puede escribir usted, Marvin? Ahorita, permítame. The industry reject a new technology. Okay. Es el de la industria. You need a full stop. Necesita punto final. Ah. Sí. Yes, that's okay. Okay. Vamos, teacher, vamos ahorita. Okay. Right. 
Skill. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, the last sentence, the personal, the Curacao company has the skill to sell or selling. Okay, the personal of the Curacao company has, y aquí es a skills, has skills or a skill. Es singular o plural ahí. Skills. Skills. Es plural. plural. Entonces mm -hmm. elimíneme A. Ah, has skill. Ok. ¿Y qué, qué comprenden ustedes por skills? Habilidades. Eh, Habilidades para vender. Uh -huh. De. De personal of the curacao. Ok. To sell. That's correct. To sell. No es selling, ¿verdad? No. Porque es ah. como infinitivo simple. Ah, ok. To sell. To sell. Okay. Yes. Ok, muy bien. What branch does she manage? Mm, copy paste. He works at a branch. Curacao Company has 52 branches. Where are the Curacao Company headquarters? Where are they? ¿Dónde están las oficinas centrales de la Curacao? Do you know? Julio César. Because I don't know. Hi. Ajá. Uh -huh. Where are they? ¿Dónde están? Eh, ok, yo voy a decir la, la dirección. No, ya está reference. Ah, es San Salvador. Ah, es San Salvador. Porque la, yeah. Ajá, porque la dirección es la cuarta calle poniente y 25 venía sur. Mm, no, pero la, la, la main office es en El Salvador. Ah, en San Salvador. Sí. De headquarter. Ah, ok. Ah, oh. César Hart. Salvador. Ajá. It is a, a Salvadoran company. Local company, the personal of the Curacao company has skills to sell. Ay, pero qué tipo de habilidades? Good skills, weak skills, poor skills, nice skills, great skills, excellent great. skills. Okay, great. great, great, good skills. That's okay. Good okay. skills to good sell. Skills to sell. O sea que la habilidad teacher está como neutro. ¿Cómo como neutro? Es decir, no, eh, no dice nada. Ajá, pero habilidades hay buenas y malas. Ah, correcto. Entonces, solo habilidades está como, pero ¿de qué? Acaba lo que usted decía. Así es, es más específico. Has good skills, tiene buenas habilidades para vender. ¿sí? Mm, es decir, okay. que vende bastante porque tiene buenas habilidades. El personal, el staff, ¿ya? El staff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, muy bien. Okay, um, now finished. Yes. This one, I think, one, really, Wilbur? Ah, you're going to write one more. Una yes. No okay, Una go no ahead and in one minute we get back, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Okay. Great. Uh, Almost done. Ya casi terminamos. Y si él solamente no pregunta, eh, yes. ¿cuál de, me confirma si las dos expresiones estarían correctas? El I don't want to guess to the party o I didn't go to guess to the party. I didn't go. I didn't Why? go to. I didn't go to. Es, to, guess. La, to guess. I didn't go guess to the party. ¿Y what do you mean by to guess? ¿No fui a adivinar o qué? A la fiesta. Yes. Ah, yes. no, no. Entonces, vean, les explico. Como es pasado, por eso tiene que usar didn't. ¿Correcto? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces, pero si usted me dice I didn't guess, no tiene sentido. Pero si ya me dice I wasn't, no fui invitado. I wasn't invited. To the party. Por ahí perdemos el verbo que queríamos usar. No, no es el verbo, sino que el guess. El, 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 ajá. Ah, and then I 
wasn't the guest the guest así the, the guest I wasn't the guest in the party no fui okay the guest in the party yo no fui eh, invitado pero eh, acá no es como el invitado el verbo, eh, go no porque go significa ir yo no ahí es de ir que se moviliza de un lugar a otro pero no puede decir usted I did ah, lo que escuché fue esto I didn't go to guest To the party, right? Uh -huh. Esto no tiene sentido pues... gramatical. ¿Por qué? Porque yo no fui, pero de, de ir, no de ser. Tu guest, esto no es verbo, es un sustantivo. ¿Sí? Puede uh -huh. ser un, un caballero o una señora, señorita. Por lo tanto, como no es verbo, no se puede utilizar. Yo creía que cuando decían guess, I didn't go to guess, decían esto, ¿no? Ay, guess. Guess what? Ay, guess what? Ya, yeah. no sé si la lleva. Que es adivinar. Por eso yo no fui a adivinar a la fiesta, porque este go es de ir. Okay. Sí, okay. y el otro es yo no fui, pero de ser o estar. ¿De acuerdo? I was not, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Estamos? Ok, ¿Ya? teacher. Ok. En español no hay diferencia porque es yo fui, pero el contexto si nos determina que yo no fui eh, invitado es el verbo to be. ¿Sí? Porque yo no fui el, ahora si yo no fui el invitado, I wasn't the guest, pero no podemos usar I didn't go, porque eso significa ir de movilización. ¿Sí? Ok, y no se puede decir el tú, ¿verdad? Porque como no es una acción, sino que That's sería... That's correcto, es un sustantivo. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Ok. Ready. ¿Listo? Yeah. Ok, let's see. Because of the time. Okay, let's wait for the other partners to return. They will be here in five seconds. Okay, class, here we go. <clears throat> let's see. Mm, just a few students. I wonder what's going on. Okay. I'm going to call your names to take the second chance of the attendance, okay? Andrea Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. Carlos. Here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Elizabeth Johanna. Okay, thank you, Miss. Via chat, you are answering. Evelyn. Present, teacher. Uh, Flor, she's absent, right? Oh no, she's well, she's connected, but she's not here. Yes. 
Predis, Eliseo, absent. Hazel, she said was going to be absent. Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Just in time. Catherine. Present. Okay. Letty. She said she was going to be absent. Maria Isabel. Here. Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Mm, Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel. Miguel. Hey, Mateo. Matthew. Mateo. Melquisedec, Matthew. Natalia. Absent today. Uh, Rafael. Over here. Here, teacher. Thank you. Rudy. Present. Thank teacher. you. Virginia. Present teacher. Okay, Wendy absent and Wilbur Francisco. Wilbur. Present teacher. Okay, Wilbur, let me <clears throat> give you uh, kind of bad news for you. I tengo una mala noticia. Ten, <laughs> Your day. Ten, ten, yes, minutes. ten minutes. Your 10 minutes is today, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, here we go. Class. It's I, a good I, notice. Okay, good news. Okay, news. Listen. <laughs> Remember, news is for singular and plural. News, noticia, noticias, okay? Singular or plural. And I would like to have one team, one group to share your... Uh, Okay, your image for the word search. Me gustaría que un equipo compartiera su imagen. So we Me double. Teacher. Okay, please be my guest. Uh, se, se logra ver. Oh, yes, excellent. Okay, we have personnel, uh, guests, plural. We have. Uh, Networking, manufacture, staff, expertise, branch, industry, small talk, and we have headquarters. Very well done. I know that all of you did it similar, okay? Now, I would like to have another group or this one, I don't know, to share your sentences. And we analyze them because it is your production, so you have different sentences, okay? Who is going to show the sentences that you created? ¿Quién nos va a compartir las oraciones que crearon? Hey, Carlos, la de nosotros, Carlos. Okay, great. Sure. Let's see. Uh -huh. Here we go. What branch does she manage? That's good. He works at a branch. Curacao Company has 52 branches. Great. Where are the Curacao Company headquarters? Excellent. Julio Cesar has networking skills. Oh. The person of the Curacao Company has good skills to sell. The staff is trained to give good customer service. Wow, very well, congrats. Excellent, thank you for sharing. Very, very well. Thank you. Well. Okay, now do we have another team that would like to share the sentences? Good job, okay. The sentences that you have, las oraciones que tengan. Okay, teacher. Okay. And do you have new personnel in your company? Okay. Where is the headquarters company? Yes. Do you need a small talk with your boss? Mm -hmm. I work in the pharmacy industry. Okay. I wasn't the guest in the party. Okay. 
finish. <laughs> Excellent. Very well. Another team, or that's okay? That's okay. Nobody else. Okay, since nobody else would like to share, here we go with the next step. Okay. And here, let's see what we are going to be working with right now. Okay, let's go over <clears throat> page 28. And here we go. Write five information questions in the simple present tense. Use the verbs from the box. Here you are going to dictate the questions to me, okay? Do you remember over C? But information questions, okay? You may check in your manual. Tell me one information question with the verb over C. What if we say uh, who? who do who you? Is, who is do you oversee? Who do you? Excellent. Who do you oversee? This is one. Now another one. What do you manufacture? What do you manufacture? Great. What do you manufacture? Question mark at the end. Supervise. Which team do you, which team do you supervise? Great. Which team do you supervise? These are good options, yeah? Now be in charge of. What, what group be in charge of? What group are you? Are, are you? Are you in, in charge, charge of? of? Excellent. Now, network. Which is your group with each your network? Okay, maybe which is your network, okay? Mm -hmm. So that could be very well done. And all of them are information questions, yeah? In simple present. Now, this is for you class. Order the words to create positive, negative, and interrogative statements in the simple past. Okay, you have to organize these words in the correct order in order to write questions. For example, number four is a question because you have here the question mark. In number five, it is negative because you have didn't and you have here the full stop. Yeah, number one is also a question. Remember, when it is a question and you have the question mark, you don't write the full stop, yeah? But when it is negative or affirmative, it is mandatory for you to write the uh, final stop or the full stop. Is that correct? Okay. okay. I'm going to transfer you so you can work in the breakout rooms. Yes? Is that okay? okay yeah? Okay. okay. I think that five minutes are okay. Yes? Here we go. I'm going to send you the invitation. There you are. Go to your groups, please. We'll better go to your group. Good. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> okay, no problem. And Catherine, go to your group. They are waiting for you. Catherine. Enjoyed the training. Did you enjoy the training? Uh, question mark at the end. 
Okay. It, sí. okay. Yes, sir. Don't forget, because if it is in there, it is because it is a must. Es obligación escribirlo. Okay, don't forget that. See you. Okay. No entendí. Una de las tareas que nos dejó en la plataforma no la pude realizar. Mm. Teacher. Yes. Tell me. Sí, nos podría dar como ejemplo la primera para tomar base, porque honestamente sí, no, no entiendo eso. Este tema ya lo vimos, se recuerdan ustedes, esto es repaso. Entonces, veamos. Refrescamos. Acá, miren, tenemos para preguntas, primero el auxiliar GID, el sujeto de la oración, el verbo en presente, el complemento y al final el signo de interrogación. Y así se mantiene para todos los pronombres personales. Recuerden, there's no special person. En pasado, estructuramos con did las preguntas para todos los pronombres personales, ya sea singular o plural, ¿sí? Sin embargo, cuando escribimos oraciones en pasado, oraciones afirmativas, el sujeto, y va primero el sujeto en el orden, y el verbo va en pasado. Por eso debe de saber si usted los verbos en pasado, ¿sí? Sin embargo, en la oración negativa, el sujeto, Luis, didn't, el verbo auxiliar con el negativo y el verbo principal va en la base, attend, the seminar. Luis didn't attend the seminar. Otro ejemplo, Luis didn't exchange business cards. Luis es el sujeto, didn't, el negativo en pasado, Exchange es el verbo principal y va en su base natural, ¿sí? A pesar de que Luis es tercera persona de singular, no le agrega una letra S, ¿por qué? Porque llevamos el auxiliar y aparte de eso es en pasado la oración, pasado negativa. Le agregamos la S o ES cuando es en presente, pero no en estructura en pasado, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Entonces... Veamos, here, la number one es una question. De acuerdo a lo que les acabo de explicar, chicos, ¿cuál sería la primera palabra a escribir acá? Did. Did, porque es el verbo auxiliar. Y luego, ¿cuál es el sujeto? Did join. Did you el sujeto, el verbo auxiliar, el sujeto y el verbo principal. Enjoy. Enjoy. The training es el complemento. Enjoy. Y el question mark. Uh -huh. Did you enjoy uh, the training? Ah, okay. Okay, sí, okay. ok. Ok. Sí, que esa cuestión la comentaba mi compañera que hay una tarea en la, pla en la plataforma de que no, no entendía eso, pero ah, ya, ya pero capté ya. la Acá, idea. Ok, vaya, hagamos la segunda. Es negativo. Uh, did the seminar negativo. manager be attend? Entonces sería negativo. ¿Cuál es el sujeto de la oración? Sería... Sería the manager. Ok. The manager. ¿Y qué es lo que no hizo el manager? The manager. The attend the seminar. Didn't. Attend. The manager. Uh -huh. The seminar, ¿ok? En full stop. Vaya, mire. ¿Sí? Ok, vaya. Ahora sigan ustedes con las okay. otras, ¿ok? Very well. Ok, thank you. Please. Ok, my pleasure. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Jeffrey. Uh, uh, the supervisor. The supervisor. The supervisor. Ay, me quito, me quito, me quito. Da business card. Business card. Yeah. Uh -huh. The number four. Miren si así está bien. The supervisor exchanged the business card. Cards. Cards. Excellent. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Very well. Very well. Uh -huh. The last one. He. Question mark. Question mark. Oh, sorry, teacher. Yes. Business mm card. -hmm. The last one, people. I need to sleep. I need to wake up tomorrow. My... Tomorrow morning. At the end, the network will make convention. This. My workmate. My workmate. Didn't at the convention. Didn't qué? Y el verbo? Didn't, didn't network. Okay. Didn't, didn't network. network. Excellent. Very well. Didn't network. Mm -hmm. At the convention. At. I see. My work. Workmate, my work my workmate didn't network at the convention. Yes, that's excellent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Congrats. Thank Take you. Take a screenshot and let's return to the main session room. Okay. okay. Very okay. well. Congrats. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, when the others return, one of you is going to share the screen, okay? So they can double check because I've been monitoring, but they were in number four and some others were in question, uh, sentence number five, okay? So let's wait for them. Actually, they are going to be here in 25 seconds. Okay, let me see. Personnel. Okay. okay, are you here, class? Everybody back? Yeah, okay, class, one of you is going to share the answers with the, okay, not the answers, but the correct sentence, the correct word order for the sentences, okay? Okay, who? Uh, okay, me yes, excellent, thank you. Did you enjoy the training? Question mark. Question mark. Okay, don't forget the question mark. Otherwise, you lose valuable points. Okay, continue. Number two. Uh, the manager didn't attend the seminar. Great. Next one. The personnel updated their maintenance certification. Okay. The... The personnel, probably the personnel... The maintenance personnel, okay, 
update their certifications. That come. Okay. Okay. They, the maintenance personnel update their certifications. Yeah. Okay, teacher. And number four. Teacher, the the I need to exchange the uh, the words, the sentence. Yes. Yeah, no problem. Yes. yes. Because personal said, maintenance is the, maintenance the, personal. The, uh huh. The maintenance personal update their certification. Okay. Number okay. four. Did the supervisor exchange the business card? That's excellent. My workmates didn't network at the convention. That's great. Very well. Okay. Congratulations. Clap, clap for this group and for the others. You did a great job. Okay. Excellent. That is why we need to double check in order to analyze those <clears throat> little details. Class, you did a great job tonight. Okay, congrats. Very well. The rest are okay. Thank you for sharing, Carlos. Thank you for sharing. Okay. And now, class, I'm going to tell you that Wilbur is going to stay with me for a couple of minutes in the one-on-one -on -one session and for the rest of you. Thank you so much. If you are still owing me any activity if for week number two or number one, continue working in the learning platform. Continúen trabajando en la plataforma de aprendizaje, please, okay? Thank you for okay. joining. Go rest, sleep well, and see you tomorrow. Have a good see night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you for joining. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. Bye-bye, Miguel. See you tomorrow. Rafa, see you tomorrow. Katri, bye-bye, Katri. Okay, here we go. Let's take advantage of the time. And I think we're going to go over reading, Wilbur. I need you to practice reading, okay? Okay, teacher. So here we go. Uh, Let's begin with the first paragraph. Okay, would you read the, the first paragraph for me, please? Last week, I had lunch with Alison, a new member of my network, network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did, know, did not know each other very well. I said, I set a goal last year. I could have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. Continue or, very or, well. During lunch, Alison mentioned that she was she by shy. nature. Shy, shy by nature. She was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I feel surprised because she trusted Trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she works she working works in, and about her expectation for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed it from a small talk to a small talk. Here is my here is my advice to you: when you attend business events. Do not do not just go and this and discuss business problems and solution. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or diner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skill, and you build meaningful connection with people in the industry. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, the first one was okay, but then you have shy by nature. Shy, shy. Uh huh. By shy. nature. By na nature. Esas nature, si la tenía. Yeah. Shy, no? I don't know. Okay. Gained. Shy by nature. Gained. 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 Past. Gain. 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 Past. Past. Talk. Remember nor, that. Nor, nor pass it. Past. Past. Yeah. Okay. Como talk. It is a past, simple past. Past. Simple past. Yeah. They are kind of homonyms. Yeah. Past. Talk. You don't pronounce the L. L. Only talk, K. Talk. Talk. A small talk yeah. to a smart talk. Excellent. That's it. Uh, we have also advice, discuss, business, benefits, improve. This mm. all sounds like ooh, improve. Mm. Improve. Improve. Uh -huh. improve. Yeah. Improve. Yeah, that's improve. correct. Improve. 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 Build. Be we, don't build. we don't pronounce the you. Build. You. Build. 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 Meaningful. Meaning, meaningful. Yeah. Meaningful. And now, uh, Wilbur, I need you to read these other two paragraphs, please. When networking with people at meetings, conference, association, meetings, or conventions, learn to ask <clears throat> interesting information, question to get the conversation going. Change the standard, what do you do for a living? For a more creative question to enrich the human exchange, like what inspires you in your job? What are your daily challenge? Okay. Creative, creative. Creative. Yes. Create. Creative. Creative. Enrich. Creative. Enrich. Yeah. Enrich, no enrich. Enrich. No, enrich, yeah. Created. Exchange. Okay. Exchange. Ex ex exchange. Ex or exchange. Yeah. Inspires. 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 And this is plural, challenges. Challenges. Yeah, because challenge, one. One. Challenges, plural. Challenges. 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 Yeah. Ch challenges. challenges. Okay. Okay. Now let's return. Over here. You are Luis and I am Janet. Okay, you begin. Okay, what page? Uh, here we are at 23. Uh, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Then, okay, you continue. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great, great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged a business course with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, now let's switch. I begin and you continue. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I, I uh, updated my networking skill. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I ex exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. 
Now you read the complete conversation. Read complete conversation. <clears throat> did you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I, I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. awesome. The practice was awesome. Now let's continue with another conversation. Here we go. Hmm. I'm going to be Mrs. State and Leo. You are going to be Mr. John and Mario. Okay. Uh, hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss State. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager. And this is Leo. Okay. Well, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She, you are Mr. <laughs> you are, you we switch roles. Great. I'm Mr. Young. What does the girl over there do? <laughs> She's Nisa. She is in charge shares of purchases. 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 No. Let's imagine that the U doesn't exist. Purchases. purchases. Imagínese que la U no existe. Purchases. Uh, Como una o, como una no, o. no existe solo la Pur P y la R. Purchases. Pur purchases. 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 Okay. Purchases. 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 Now you read the conversation alone. Ahora lee la conversación solita. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I am Miss Tate. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice, na, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the gear over there, or there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchase purchases. Excellent. Awesome. Purchases. Okay. I think this is the last one. Here uh, at the seminar, you are Rick and I am Jack. You begin. That is, let me see, at page 19. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inexing. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, now you read the conversation alone. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I'm sorry, you read alone. Continue. I was excited. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for pack packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. It does. We have three, three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the head, headquarters? They're in Panama. Awesome. Very well. 
Excellent. Now I need you to read the definition for headquarters and branch, please. The place head, headquarters, the place where a company or organization has its main office, office. Offices. Offices. And branch, a shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. Excellent, awesome. Okay, you had a good reading practice. Congratulations. There are Thanks, just teacher. a few words, maybe the new vocabulary, but continue practicing, okay? Remember trial and error. Error y ensayo, and then you're going to have a good practice. And another good practice is uh, as we did yesterday, and you click on the links that you have over here, and then you're going to have a good listening practice, okay? That is associated to the topics that we study every day, okay? Okay. Okay, okay sir. Thank you so much for giving me your time, and have a good night, sleep well, and see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Sleep well. Bye-bye. Thanks.